Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is a photograph from round two of the Apprentice Ideal National Championship. And an apprentice wired this, and what I'd like to concentrate on right here as a learning experience for all of us is the length of sheathing coming into this panel. You see the, the length of sheathings vary here. This one I don't believe has any sheathing at all coming into the panel. And this one, I don't think it even has a fitting. You see, these are all fittings. These blue items here, these are fittings. And that's very important when we start going over the code. Uh, these are fittings. And they're going to be talking about the length of sheathing beyond a fitting. And uh, that's going to be important. Here we go. This one's about an inch and a quarter. And this one's about an inch and a quarter. This one's about an inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, maybe three quarters of an inch. Maybe this one's a quarter of an inch. This one doesn't come through at all. It was an inch, an inch. Ooh, this one here, maybe a quarter, but I don't think so. I think it's more like three sixteenths of an inch. This one, <laughs> it, it has no sheathing, but it doesn't have any fitting either, I don't think. And this one's about five sixteenths of an inch. So what do you think? Before we crack open the code book, uh, what do you think about this? Do you think there's any code violations here? Do you think it could be done better? So without further delay, let's crack open the code book. And I'll start with 2020 NEC Article 312.5. That's cabinets, cutout boxes, and meter socket enclosures. And we're going to go down here to C cables where cable is used. Now, NM cable, that's Romex, is a kind of cable. Okay, that's what we're seeing in the photograph. So, where cable is used, each cable shall be secured to the cabinet, cutout box, or meter socket enclosure. So, what I'm getting from this is that the NM cable, when it's clamped, has to include the sheathing. It can't just be the, the wires inside. It's got to be the whole cable, and that would be the conductors and the sheathing. That is what has to be secured to the cabinet cutout box or meter socket enclosure. The next article I would like to show you is Article 314.17. Conductors entering boxes, conduit bodies, or fittings shall be protected from abrasion and shall comply with 314. Point one seven a through D. So there's fittings involved here in 3.147A through D. And so now we're going to go to Article 314.17B2. Conductors entering through cable clamps. Where cable assemblies with non-metallic sheaths are used, the sheath shall extend not less than six millimeters one quarter inch inside the box and beyond any cable clamp. The reason I've emphasized the cable clamp aspect of this is that it specifically mentions box as opposed to panel, but there's cable clamps in that panel. So I believe that this still applies. So where cable assemblies with non-metallic sheaths, that's like Romex are used, the sheath shall extend not less than six millimeters, one quarter inch inside the box and beyond any cable clamp. And I'd like to bring up this article 110.12, mechanical execution of work. Electrical equipment shall be installed in a neat and workmanlike manner. So here we are at our Young Student Apprentices panel. And by the way, I'm not trying to belittle anybody. This is just for a learning experience for all of us. So uh, first of all, I'd say, you know, this, this all has to be neat and workmanlike. We've got all these different lengths of sheathing coming in and it, it, it looks like kind of a jumbled mess. <laughs> you know, I'm not making fun of anybody. It's just, it just does. I would say that this one needs to have a quarter inch of sheathing and it doesn't. I don't think that this one has a quarter inch of sheathing. This one does not have any sheathing. And I think it doesn't even have a fitting. 
So this is wrong in multiple ways right here. So I would like to see all of these be like the same, you know, if, if you're going with an inch and a quarter, okay, let's make them all an inch and a quarter. Nice and neat coming down. If you leave a little room on your sheathing, you can take an ultra fine Sharpie and you can make a little note on that, you know, microwave, dishwasher, you know, you can make a little note. It's kind of an advantage. So what do you guys think? Do you think uh, this is okay? Do you, you think there's violations here? Do you agree with me that there needs to be a minimum of a quarter inch of sheathing coming into the panel? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.